All right, I'm here with Daivat, um, one of our interns from this summer at Meteor. Um, he's the, the last one to go home, so we got to hang out with him for longer than everyone else. Uh, yeah, and we're just going to talk to Daivat a little bit about what he worked on and what he learned at Meteor. Sounds good. Cool. So what did you work on? Uh, I worked on Apollo Client. Specifically, I started off working on performance-related stuff, so I worked on like query merging, query batching. Then uh, progressively, I moved on to implementing more and more parts of the GraphQL spec, so like directives, um, fragment composition, like query composition through fragments. And as like the bug reports came in and we realized more and more what users want, I started to work on those features. So that's been most of my summer. So let's go, go back a step. What, what is Apollo Client? Yeah, so Apollo Client is a caching client for GraphQL, um, which basically means that it's a nice way to build uh, web apps in JavaScript and not have to worry about where your how your data is fetched from the server. Okay, cool. And so when you say performance improvements, um, are those specific to GraphQL in any way? Um, so some of them. So uh, they're specific to Apollo Client in the sense that, um, so for example, if you take query merging, query merging takes like two GraphQL documents, combines them into one GraphQL document, and then sends it down to the server. Uh, this means that we're able to reduce the number of HTTP round trips that these uh, documents take. And this is a performance improvement that's like really specific to GraphQL. But um, there are some other performance improvements, like only uh, re-rendering the UI when we have new data available that are like pretty generic and not really specific to GraphQL. So that makes sense. Okay, and had you heard about GraphQL before you joined Meteor? So I'd heard about it a little bit, but I hadn't heard about it like a tremendous amount. But after I uh, started working here, I started reading about it. I got pretty excited about the technology. So Okay, yeah. So you think it's going to be a pretty cool thing? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and another thing I thought was really exciting that you, um, you wrote a good number of blog posts on our blog about the stuff you were working on. So maybe tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, that was definitely a pretty exciting part of it because it's not just about like writing code. It's about writing code and like building products that other people want to use. And publicizing them is a part of it. So I wrote three different blog posts. Uh, the first one was about like this query merging, query batching idea. The second one was about uh, performance improvements specifically with respect to React and um, how we're using Apollo Client within Meteor Galaxy. And the last one was about really explaining like the essence of GraphQL and visualizing the concepts behind GraphQL in like an easy to understand manner. Yeah, I think that last one is doing really well. I'm really excited because I thought it was going to be uh, kind of too complicated for people. It's like, you know, a nine minute read or something, and most of our <laughs> posts are four minutes or something. Yeah. Um, but it's actually getting like probably, it's like the most recommended post we've had since like two months ago or something like that. So. Yeah, I was very excited about the posts. Definitely a lot of fun to put together. Yeah, that's really cool. And um, how did you get to know about Meteor in the first place? So I saw Meteor when they first launched on Hacker News, and I was like totally blown away by the demo, and I thought it was really cool. After that, somehow, um, I met the CEO, Jeff Schmidt, uh, during high school, and through that, I got to know the team and like what they were working on, and at that time, I thought it was like a really cool project, and I finally had a chance this summer to come work on it, so. That's awesome, and, but the, the project you worked on, Apollo Client, is a little bit different from the Meteor that you saw in the demo back then, but do you feel like how do you feel about that difference or similarity? Yeah, so I think even though the project itself is uh, different and we're focusing on GraphQL with this particular project, the idea behind the two projects is pretty similar in that it's like applying uh, fundamental computer science concepts to making front-end web development a lot, lot easier. And I think that was what really spoke to me uh, when I first learned about Meteor, and that continues to hold true with Apollo Client. So. Nice. Yeah, I definitely feel the same way. I think like Apollo is basically taking the ideas behind Meteor and like expanding it to you know a different audience or a wider audience with yeah. GraphQL. Um, so what did you? Uh, what do you feel like you learned while you were working at Meteor for the summer? Um, one of the most important things I learned uh, was really working with other people on a team. Um, in the past, like whatever projects I've worked on in high school, they were almost all independent, and it was just me working by myself. So working with other people is like a completely different set of challenges that I learned to uh, do well this summer. And in addition to that, it was also about like engineering discipline and actually building stuff that can 
stand the test of time and constitutes a good product, which is really hard to do when you're just building stuff for yourself, but when you're building stuff that other people rely on and use on a daily basis, you have to be much more careful about how you actually go about building things. And I thought that was also very valuable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally can see that. And um, so how do you feel like your background or the classes you took in school uh, helped you out on the stuff you're working here? Yeah, so I don't, um, so I only, I've only completed one year of school so far, so I'm not sure if uh, any of my classes directly applied, but uh, a lot of the experience I had in high school with like caching systems and stuff was very valuable. So for example, uh, in my junior year, I built this uh, distributed caching layer for Hadoop. So even though we don't really have anything to do with Hadoop but at Meteor, the point is that by using like some of the same ideas and stuff that I used while implementing that project, I was able to like make progress within Apollo Client. So. And how did you get into that kind of stuff in high school? Um, I was really interested in computer science research and I started reading research papers and talking with professors at like a uh, university in my state. And after that, I gradually got into uh, distributed systems research. And that's like an area where caching and that this sort of thing is like really, really important. So nice. Cool. Well, uh, just to, to, to sum up, like, what do you think your favorite thing was about the summer? Uh, just like the tremendous amount of stuff that I learned and like the really, really smart people that I learned it from. Like it's it's pretty hard to compare the level of dedication that people have here to the product, to the, to the team and like. Overall, it's just been a fantastic environment to learn new stuff, and I would definitely do it again. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank you.